Just let's let's look at what RP is, okay? And challenge it to this model. So a little kind of much guide to RP. Um, RP stands for now there seems to be a bit of disagreement about the received part, what that means. What I understood from I read in the Cambridge Encyclopedia of English, but they he said it wasn't very clear what received was, but it was an accent that you received on getting a good education originally. Let's do some facts here. It's often called the Queen's English. Um, there is no regional origin of RP. It is a sort of regionless accent, although it is associated with the south of England. It goes back as far as the 1500s, and it was first codified by this man here, Daniel Jones, in 1918, and for a long time was BBC English. I have a manual from the 1970s called Correct English from the BBC, and it still has sort of how to pronounce certain words and so on, and that's how it was pronounced on the BBC. BBC has changed incredibly now in terms of different kinds of accents. It's spoken today by less than 3% of the population, um, and there's a possible replacement for a while they were saying would be something called estuary English from the Thames estuary. The closest that would be is they said how Tony Blair spoke. Tony Blair's accent. It's not RP. And there's no American equivalent of RP. General American is the whole dialect, usually referred to General American and Standard British English. But there was no American exact same equivalent of RP. So I'll ask someone who hasn't well to learn to speak American. Is that right? That's absolutely right. Okay. So uh, there's a Yes, there's no RP. RP is sort of posh. Now I it's, I've, I've got an example of something from a listening that has RP. Uh, that's a sort of RP, not a very strong one, but let's listen to a little bit of it. Um, it's not the strongest, but here, here we go. According to the World Health Organization, more than 20% of the world's population, that's more than a billion people, don't have clean, safe drinking water. It's the water there that is very sort of R R P. -ish. So that's that's R P. Now, and that has been the orthodox in most teaching materials as an accent that you listen to. Yes. In the dictionary, um, I've been at dictionary recording sessions for different dictionaries. When they do a recording for a dictionary, it's the most. One actor told me the voice actor said it was the most excruciating torture for the actor because they sit in a room and they read the words. But thousands of words, thousands of words, and they have to give it in a posh accent. So they give the, the well not posh, but in an RP accent. So the dictionaries are often RP and lots of the listening is RP. Is it the easiest one to under, be understood in a global um, a, a global environment? Absolutely. It could be. Some people say that, um, in fact, the closer you are, I've read one interesting article saying the closer you are to RP, the, the easier others tend to say that you will be understood. So, um, funnily enough, native speakers sometimes say it sounds kind of funny if you have too close an RP one, but non-native speakers don't. So, there's a bit of debate on that, but it is worth remembering that it isn't spoken as a sort of, as a, as a native speaker accent by that many people. Uh, well, is it what people say is comprehensible, or what actually is comprehensible? Because those are two different things. Yeah, I don't, I don't. It's what they say they think is comprehensible. But again, is that as a result of having been uh, taught that this is the prestige accent, or or not? I'm not sure. <laughs> However, whatever the case is, there's a lot of money being made by accent reduction. Here's an example from a website. I took away the name to protect the innocent, but the website is, this, this is a website, uh, well actually it is, the name is there, um, that offers accent reduction services. <laughs> Sorry, Paul um, but, uh, so he's, this is for native speakers and non-native speakers. If regional dialect holds you back, or English is your second language, you might need accent reduction. He's a leading authority on two pronunciation systems. General American English, well, this is, I think that's the more general, I think the term general American English is more everything, but he's using a pronunciation. 
So the CD in the book is for only $21.95. Um, you will be able to start reducing your accent and become either more American or British. So this is, this is the, and there were, if you type in accent reduction on Google, you'll get all kinds of stuff. People trying to reduce accents. So far, so good, but the challenge has, be, has started coming.